Cantona. Oh, Bruce has collected yet another valuable goal for Manchester United. Philip Don, the referee, is concerned about the excessive nature of the celebrations here. So really, you can understand the joy for Manchester United and Steve Bruce. Well, how many times has Steve Bruce produced this type of header for Manchester United? The mark is not great. John Barnes gets caught under the ball there. And it's from, what, six yards? And Steve Bruce doesn't miss them often. What a start to the game of God. Of course, he won the last time he brought them here. Last March. The side are winning again. And they're winning by two goals to nil. A glorious goal from Ryan Giggs. Jamie Redknapp is punished and Liverpool well have they lost out with just 20 minutes gone against Manchester United and their capabilities do you feel that that is possibly the way it's going to fall for Graham Sunez's side here yes I think you're right that is self-inflicted the, the pass from Jamie Redknapp wasn't great but if you're going to be really harsh about it I wouldn't expect the centre-half to lose out in a tackle like that I really wouldn't but Ryan Giggs didn't have to do an awful lot but from then on he did he's got a decision to make he knows Groblas come out to narrow the angle he knows he's got to be accurate he knows the precision needs to be there and it was it was a wonderful finish from Giggs but this is incredible I think that's the first time we've ever seen a free kick given outside the box and United don't have a player in there Owen it's three and everything they hit ends up in the back of the net and even by Manchester United standards this is simply stunning this is incredible Mark they didn't have a player look they don't have a player anywhere near the box they must have so much confidence in Danny Irwin ability and he didn't disappoint them this is a beautifully struck free kick look at the bend in the ball you can see it look at the accuracy of it it's a magnificent free kick from Danny well, I think we imagined all sorts of scenarios here, but hardly this one. We're 23 minutes gone. It's Liverpool nil, Manchester United 3. Bruce Grobola has had to pick out the ball from his net, put there by Steve Bruce, by Ryan Giggs and by Dennis Irwin. Dix, Redner, Clough. for an abundance of goals but what 25 minutes gone this the fourth and again it's a straight to admire we really have been spoiled tonight four magnificent goals we've seen already and i honestly can't fault either goalkeeper for any of them right coming forward rush can Croft get to this one he can it's three four Nigel Clough again! Oh, this is absolutely incredible stuff. What a marvellous response from Liverpool. But it's an error that brings the opening. A bit of confusion there. It comes off keen. There's a big, big gap there that Nigel Clough straight into. And he does finish it with real confidence. Doesn't seem a problem. The ball bounces off Roy Keane. And Clough's on to it in a flash. And that's a great finish. Five goals in 38 minutes here at Anfield. Fowler. A nice touch from Ruddock. Sweeping it to Bjorn Abit. Needs a good cross for from here. They've got it. Neil Ruddock. And this masterpiece of a match has produced another fantastic goal. is absolutely sensational and what a huge part Roderick plays it because he's the one that fed beyond the bit and then he didn't hang around and look at the way he attacks that he goes in there saying this is mine and no one no one is stopping me getting that that is what you call attacking the ball and that is what you call refusing to lie down here Liverpool 
Tottenham must have feared another blast when so early in the evening they were three goals addressed. Uh, an evening that defenders would probably prefer to forget Dennis Irwin has done as well as anybody. Well, they'll talk about this night for a long, long time. Graham Sunes, who might well have been writing off his side after 23 minutes. They were three down. In the end, Neil Ruddock with a really lion-hearted header. Pulled it back to 3-3 three -three after Nigel Clough had scored twice before half-time to completely change the scenario. The script was just as Manchester United would have wanted.